Hello, Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm so happy to see so many familiar faces in chat. Welcome in all, and thank you if you guys have been with us all morning for sticking around. Um, I am going to be the host of this section. Um, I am Voodoo Vow, and I'm joined by Hello. Ted Chin. Hi, guys. Um, we're going to jump into some awesome designing uh, here in a few moments. But first, I've got some reminders for you guys. As always, we are going to be doing a chat and win uh, in about 30 minutes. So if you guys are over on YouTube, come over to Behance, hang out with us, be active in chat for a chance to win an awesome prize um, and, uh, you know, make some design friends, you know, start a project. It's pretty fun over here on Behance. It's a good time. <laughs> um, also, uh, we are not doing our challenges today. Today we are doing portfolio reviews. Mm -hmm. So if you guys uh, work in Photoshop, if you guys do any uh, editing or uh, compositing work um, and would like some feedback um, on your portfolio, definitely submit it to the uh, portfolio review tab that is above the chat. Um, check out the uh, the details there. Um, we're going to choose two portfolios and at the end of the stream, Ted and I are going to go over it hey. and offer some advice and stuff. Mm. Um, should be fun. Uh, but yeah, why don't you uh, maybe reintroduce yourself for anyone who wants wasn't here the last few days, um, and then we can jump into our project. For yeah, today. it's funny. The moment you point at me, I was like, went blank. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> Who am I? Where <laughs> am I, where am I at? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm Ted, and I'm a full time uh, freelance digital artist based in uh, San Francisco, and then I uh, love to use Photoshop uh, compositing um, art. Yeah. And then sometimes I go out take photos with uh, different models and just to see uh, what will inspire uh, them and me. So like this one, oh, that's actually from a cave in uh, Oregon. Um, it's a bat cave, yeah. So I think it's closed during the winter time. No, it's open. Mm -hmm. There's one other way. Um, yeah, so we went down there, and then there's actual light coming down from the top. Um, so I had her like put on the red dresses and like pretend like she's touching the light and then adding some like um, glowing butterfly in there. That's yeah. awesome. That's so, so cool. So I like to go on like different road trips and um, just to explore like the place I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually in LA. Um, is it really? Grass purple. I would yeah. never have thought that this was a <laughs> Los I know, right? Angeles. So photo. there's actually like some cool spot in LA. You just mm -hmm. have to find it. Uh, and then we paint the whole grass like purple and then added some like um, lies haze and then like um, stars on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. um, yeah, like just going on the trip, like explore a place I've never seen before, I and love then this collab. One. Yeah, it's like a collab with a different Great. artist. For really? his name, uh, he actually took the photo on the background. I just add the moon in there because right it was on. for the uh, the block moon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I was like, hey, let's do some simple composites. Just post on uh, social media. Very um, cool. That one's both are from a stock photo. Um, mm -hmm. The girl is actually uh, my friend. We shot her in the Mom Davidson. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's like pretty cool just to like work with different people. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if so you guys want a like closer that. look, um, you guys can uh, check out the info tab um, and follow the link there to look at some of Ted's other work. Um, and then we can also get the links in chat for you guys so you can visit his website and his Instagram as well, which is Yay, awesome. I'm like you. addicted to like scrolling through your Instagram. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, but yeah, um, I think today we've got like a little bit of a different format too for yeah. our project. I'm excited <laughs> for it. I'm kind of nervous about it, but it should be fun. Oh, yeah, I think it'll yeah. be great. I think it'll be great. So instead of like me bring a project that's already been created or create something, I want to work with you guys. So you'll be telling me like, give me like an idea of like a theme or like a world or something and then I'll go on the Adobe stock website to look for it and composite the ideas together and um, you give me like a subject like a person or animals and we're gonna try that mm -hmm. so hopefully it will work <laughs> yeah no I think I think this is gonna be great we, yeah we typically like everybody in chat um, they're really good at like giving like awesome ideas and yeah, like, feedback yeah. and stuff so what kind of theme do you guys <laughs> think would be fun to go for today I want to see some cool some cool ideas in the chat yeah <laughs> go easy on me <laughs> Uh, Miss Voodoo Val, you talked about a site to get brushes yesterday. What was the site? Uh, please, I would love to know. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, while you guys come up with some cool themes and ideas for our composite today, um, I will bring you guys back to um, yeah, its brushes, yeah. uh, digitalbrushes.tumblr.com. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really, really amazing. Um, I can actually put the, um, the link into the chat for you in a moment here. But basically, it's like a huge archive of like like tons of fantastic uh, Photoshop brushes um, and uh, all of the paintings and stuff that the artists who have released the brush packs have created um, with those brushes. So it's one of my favorite places um, to get uh, all of the brushes that I use for my own illustrations and stuff. Um, you guys can also check out Kyle T. Webster's brushes that come with um, Photoshop too, um, if you guys are interested in that, or visit Kyle's um, 
website um, where you can uh, find even more than what comes with Photoshop already. Um, oh, Tim's got the link for you guys. So nice. there you there you go. Uh, are they free? Yes, they are free. They are the at least the ones on the uh, Digital Brushes um, website. Yes. Um, Star Wars pug theme. There's oh, so many gosh. things going on on there. Niagara Falls. But yes, you guys would be my hovering art director. Oh, and yes. be follow directions. <laughs> so I so saw we have Vikings, we have what, robot? Robotech. Robotech. That could be cool, like Ooh, some robot stuff. Yeah, I always love robot. Camping theme. <laughs> Camping could do theme, like an interesting like forest scene. Ooh, that so could like be interesting. Yeah, yeah, daytime. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so what should we go first? You could just like maybe look up some cool images All for right, some of the themes see. that come through and see what sort of inspires forest. you. Forest. By typing forest, what would happen? Ooh, Ooh there's some there's good so stuff cool thing. in there. <laughs> I was like, I just dig a hole. <laughs> this is like gonna be like <laughs> pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> no, it should be fun. <clears throat> Hopefully. Star Trek <laughs> Wars. Thanks, Tim. Star Trek. <laughs> 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 no problem, Owen. Uh, a dolphin in a river, wizard pugs, snow fox, snow owl. I'm seeing a lot of Ooh, snow, actually. Snow. All right. Yeah, Let's snow could be snow cool. snow on the stock sites to see what we can find on here. There could be some Ooh. some interesting, um, like a snow scene with like maybe like a, a large um, snow animal in the background or something like that. Right. Could be interesting. Let's see. So this is basically how I usually like start my work. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just be um, trying to come up with some ideas and then go on, spend a lot of time on stock websites. Just like, what am I gonna do today, or what do I feel mm -hmm. that's more connected to? And then, um, like, that's a pretty cool photo. Um, but it might be hard to like add stuff in there because mm -hmm. like she's holding. Uh, like that tree? Yeah, yeah, or so yeah. that's a, um, slightly distracting for me because mm -hmm. um, like, there's like a different story going on in there. So, mm -hmm. what else can we find? What's the snow? Is there a location or something that's like snow that's cool, like a mountain or like frozen lake? Frozen or, lake sounds amazing, actually. Yeah. Both of those, like frozen lakes and mountains. <laughs> that's right, frozen lake. He's like, cooking. oh, that's Ooh, so pretty. That first oh one God. is awesome. With all like the cracks. Yeah. Oh, that's this one's pretty amazing. So cool too. All right, so we have this one. So right now, it's just like my brain would be thinking like, okay, if I want to use this to to, bait, um, to build the foreground, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the um, the this ice part, because I don't know if I want a tree there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure because maybe I want to replace it with mountains or something else, mm -hmm. right? But this frozen uh, cracking can go up to like patch this spot right here, mm -hmm. and then there's like snow mountain back, and I'm trying, trying to figure out the light looks like it's coming down from the right. So mm -hmm. if I'm correct, it should sort of match. Awesome. But I just tried it. Yeah, so it looks like, I mean, just, I, I guess, don't know if things it's to work. keep I hope, in mind. Oh, yeah, hopefully it will work. <laughs> <laughs> things to keep in mind when you know, you're know you um, hunting for your images is, are they lit in a similar way? Or I guess even are they um, photos that if they're not 100% matching in their lighting, can you, can is it going to be something you're going to be able to work with and go in and, and, and make the way that you need it to be? Yeah, I mean, most of the time there's a way to fix it. Mm -hmm. um, but just like, you know, you don't want to, like, um, let's say, like, I, I personally would like to focus on what we're building mm -hmm. and then, like, the concept. So I don't want to spend too much time, like, fixing stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you know, if I can avoid it, I, I will avoid it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if I have to do it because, like, certain reason, then, uh, you know, I'll just spend a lot of time on it. Like, have you ever um, have you ever received images, like, from a client that they say, like, you have to use these and oh, it's yeah. just really <laughs> hard to put them yeah, together? Yeah, well, then that's, like, finding a right stock image, you know, mm -hmm. just to see what actually work. Um, so We've got the... some suggestions of something like the witch from Narnia in the in the like who froze herself in her own spell. It might be cool to Ooh, add just like a cool, so like, like a female giant female ice character. block with like a um, female mm -hmm. uh, witch that is like or even just there. like a witch like walking around. I don't know. Ooh, this is getting difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. I'm, I, maybe yeah, I'm just go. biased because I'm like all for like all of the witchy woman ideas. That's fine. Right? <laughs> Anything <laughs> mystical and fantasy. All right, so I'm just gonna try some stuff out, and I don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, go for the it. The idea is like to see like, if this matches. Then usually I can try to see if screen or lights and work or multiply. Ooh. You know, there's like different way to do. The cool thing about the live blending mode right now is mm -hmm. like you know. 
I can just like go hover above it mm -hmm. um, to see it right away. You know what I always do is I click it so that it's highlighted and I flip yeah. through with the arrow keys. <laughs> so you can do that on PC, but uh, it doesn't really do that oh, on the Mac. But there's a short key. If I'm not wrong, I think it's Command Shift. And plus, oh, nope, that's a different thing. <laughs> what was the thing? Oh, there you go. So it's options and shift, right? Oh, gotcha. Option, shift, and like plus and minus size. So you can gotcha. change it like that. So, um, because like PC, you can just click on it and then use the arrow and to go up it. and down. Yeah. Now I was like really struggling. I was like, how come Mac doesn't do the same thing? And I was like, oh, there's a short key for it. And you found it. Yeah. So you just do that. And just like, I can just like quickly go over it. But um, based on like some of the experience I have, you know, Maybe soft and light, or I kind of like this dark. I kind of like the dark yeah. too. Yeah, that's really. But even neat. if it's too dark, you can always like add something to um, brightening a little bit. Oh, for sure. See. Yeah, but I don't want to lose the detail, so I gotta keep playing till I find something I like. So right now, I'll just like see. Let's say my secondary choice is like maybe <clears throat> overlay. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. So then I now I have two of this. So I can jump around to see like which one I like better. Like in this case. Uh, I don't know. Let's try. I just like I will add like different layers just to test it out. Like what would be like a better result? Like I That's really like nice, this like yeah. crystal filling of the. Of That's the vibe. almost like in between those two options. It's really nice. Yeah. So right now, probably want to extend my canvas just to like do that era ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe that because now I have to think about like what I can patch on the top of it. Mm -hmm. And. That. Nice. And then, let's see, we have this right here. Move it a little bit here. One day it will all be voice command in Photoshop. Oh, yeah. I Just know, like, right? Like a, like no, a small No, I think it'll be actually like you wear that like brand thing. <laughs> so you don't even use like your um, you know, Hands voice. Hands free designing. You just, you just like think about it, and then the AI will be like reading your facial expressions, and it's like your head, like the brain wave. It's like, like, okay, <laughs> we're going to do this. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> just like sitting there kind of yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like in the live, you don't even have to talk anymore. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the subtitle would just appear. Here. Exactly. Like, Why well, am I thinking like this? And we're just like making eye contact and back, you know? <laughs> this, that's what we're coming out for like 2025, <laughs> the, the mind know, control right? Photoshop options. <laughs> so yeah, I think like <laughs> that's probably what's going to happen in the future. <laughs> I don't know. Don't call me on that. But it would be pretty funny if that actually happened. When um, you were creating something, um, do you just go for it? Do you have any dimensions or outputs in mind? This is from um, Alberto. Yeah, so you, there's like three to four uh, I think I mentioned it on the first day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure, but anyway, so like sometime I'll come out with the idea, and mm -hmm. I'll write it down, and then like when I have that idea, I kind of like have a vision uh, with it ready. So I'll do like a quick sketch, like the whale one you saw, like I do like a really rough sketch. Yeah, so I was quick. like, oh, this is how I kind of see it, right? Mm -hmm. And that's things to bring that idea back to life. And then sometime it was just like, um, I'll just kind of sit there and then go for the vibe. So if I have, um, I see like pictures, I feel connection with it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll like search for inspiration and then to see if I can bring the similar uh, vibe and then like the scenario back into the photo I'm trying to yeah, create. Yeah. You know, so um, it's all kind of that. Um, I would say like the first idea is like easier to execute because mm -hmm. you already have a vision and you know how exactly what it look like. Mm -hmm. And you can plan every detail, like adding stuff in that. Um, the second, Way is like which is like what we're kind of doing right now. Um, it took longer time because mm -hmm. then you have to find the right photo, and not every photo always work. And then you just like have to not saying like wing, but just like based on the experience and what you have in your mind, just like all right, I'm gonna try this, and mm -hmm. this might work, this might not work. There is like few times I'll create something until I like, maybe like 50 percent there. I was like, yeah, this is not gonna work. And I just throw it away. And then you just or, like, scrap it. Yeah, you know, I'll live it on the desktop for like few days. Mm -hmm. So if you go on my desktop, it's like every like PSD That's file everywhere because yeah, I'll yeah. revisit those <laughs> files to see if I can actually make it work and if it's worth it to like spend more time on it. Mm -hmm. And then eventually like some of them will actually turn out really good. Mm -hmm. And some of you just end up in the trash can and then say bye forever, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, Joe says, sorry, just jumped in. What is this project he's working on? Um, Ooh, it looks like we're that. moving into like a like a snow scene sort of piece here. Um, but uh, different from kind of what we did yesterday, we actually took these suggestions and ideas from the chat. So if you guys have any ideas for um, elements and stuff that could be added, you guys can definitely throw them in uh, to the chat pod. Uh, can't guarantee that, <laughs> you know, Ted will use every idea Idea, but it's kind of cool to get you guys involved, get the ideas flowing, um, and see where it goes. So I think it's really cool because um, 
I always wonder, you know, when people come on Adobe Live mm -hmm. or when I see um, people designing on their live streams and stuff, I always wonder, like, is this the only way that they do things or do they ever do things on the fly or what happens when they start making something and they realize that they're actually not feeling the vibe? Like, yeah. how long do they stick with that piece and everything? So this is kind of like a, a neat alternative process that we get to see from you, which is, <laughs> which is neat, you know? Um, I think um, when it comes to like designing, if you, um, I th you know, even w like with your type of work or with like me doing painting and illustration and everybody else, like even doing stuff in like XD and dimension and stuff, I think that there's like a fine line between like just sticking with a piece and like just mm -hmm. like trucking through and then you like reach this wall where it's like you either chuck it in the trash like you <laughs> yeah. said or you don't um, and we'll sometimes see. I feel like a little like eh, am I at this point with a piece like do I, I know, stop right? this right now or do I not so it's kind of cool to watch other people go through that process mm. I feel like I'm not alone we'll no you're definitely not alone <laughs> struggle is real yep yep sometimes man sometimes um, a glass castle in the mountains that could be Ooh. interesting. Like a no, while we think like, please be there is already like make glass, yeah, glass castle castles, in the stock yeah, photo dude. so I can just use it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then like, oh no, like how do you turn a castle to a glass? So um, actually, that's how I learned a lot of like Photoshop skills. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say if um, I do want to build um, a glass castle on this photo, right? Mm -hmm. Now, be like, first thing I was like, oh, is there actually a glass um, castle that exists that I can actually use? Yeah. Or like, what would be some other way I can um, bring to my photo, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I do remember this um, photographer artist, um, Eric Allums, I think. He's based in San Francisco. Uh -huh. um, so I saw in his, one of his presentations, he actually has someone build an actual ice castle in real life and photograph what? it and bring it back to the um, uh, his composite. Wow. I know. Wow, so wow. yeah, and then he said other solution he did was like either like using a uh, Photoshop building, 3D mm -hmm. rendering, or actual building in uh, real life and then bring back. So it was it was amazing, you know. Wow. Yeah. Um, same with the other artist, uh, Eric Johansson, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't like try not to butcher their name. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I always forgot how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, he's based in Sweden. Um, he they both do like this crazy thing. So um, if I can have a glass castle, I will take a photo of it and bring mm -hmm. back because you can manipulate the lighting and the angle yeah, and the color. You know? Yeah, yeah. If I it can, for... you know, I'll just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Or next thing I'll be like, how do I turn a castle to glass? Mm -hmm. So I'll go on YouTube and search for tutorial, you know, mm -hmm. right? For learn or everybody just to see like, have anyone trying to turn stuff to glass before? And yeah. if they do, what some of the different method I can try. So exactly, I'll probably go yeah. on there, find like five to ten different ways to turn something to glass, mm -hmm. and then I'll try to see which one worked the best, mm -hmm. and I'll try at least like three of them, and then to see what can I pick from all these three tutorials to make it like a better way for me Perfect, um, to make yeah. it look as real, to fit the photo I'm working on. So a lot of time I'll be like working on stuff, and I'll be lost in the YouTube, and come back, mm -hmm. and then I'll like try to see like, oh, is this working? And then I'll struggle for like a day or two, be mm -hmm. like, oh, this is how you do it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember like the I don't I don't know if I have the file here, but um, that was like one of the craziest thing I ever done was to turn a daytime photo to nighttime. Which mm -hmm. is there's not a lot of like tutorial on there uh, online, uh, even though there's only few, and then some like doesn't look that good. Mm -hmm. um, but I tried it once, and I was like, I would never want to do it again. I did it again, <laughs> you know. So I was like, all right, that's it. You know, I'm not doing it. Now again. It's done, if you can done. shoot it at night, just shoot it at night. Don't, yeah. like, don't don't do that. You know, don't do it. Yeah, unless like, you really want to do that. You know, so it's just like okay. That's so funny, but that's that's. That's interesting. I think I, I have like a very similar um, kind of process when I'm like want to try a new technique or do like a lighting situation or a lighting effect or something that I've never painted before. Mm -hmm. I do the same where I'm just like, okay, I want to do this and I go and I look at other work, you yeah. know, and think like, okay, this person achieved this in their work and then try to kind of dissect that piece and think, you know, like what sort of technique could they have used? Um, and if I can't figure it out, like just noodling around in Photoshop, mm -hmm. then I'll go to scour YouTube, see if, because I feel like there's so many artists, you know, if you have the desire to do a certain thing in your work, 
at least one other person has wanted to do that as well, and there's probably at least one video available of somebody sharing their knowledge on that, you know? So I will go as well and look for some free training. Um, mm -hmm. Adobe Live YouTube is actually a fantastic place. Yeah. I find myself on there <laughs> all the time. Um, and uh, kind of learning some things and figuring out how to do new stuff in Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> It's like pushing, kind of like pushing yourself back to school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Exactly. Like, All right, what do I want to learn today? So it's right the, now, like the university of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So right now, I'm trying to find something that will match here. You know? uh, go um, up into like something. Yeah. So there. this is like um, for me, this is a like point. I'll go look for like concept art or like um, something to see how people usually bring the snow back on the top. You know, because mm -hmm. like this part is like really just nothing there, mm -hmm. right? So to find something that will like match it. Um, I think I was looking for something like that mm -hmm. might work, you know, to the top. So if it's fading and then there's like a, let's see if I can do that. A s like sort of like mountain here and then mm -hmm. fading out away. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, that could Maybe be cool. Not. Like some really dramatic kind of mountains. Yeah. That would be awesome. So I think can... a lot of people were saying mountains um, in chat earlier where they were like, yeah, let's get like some cool, some cool mountains in there. Yeah. So hopefully it will work. <laughs> um, also, we've got um, just a little over seven minutes until our chat and win. Um, so if you guys are over on YouTube, um, head over to behands.net slash live and hang out with us. We're all reading the chat over here and palling around having a great time. And if you are active in the Behance chat, you have a chance to win a $30 Moo gift card. Um, so yes, we're very excited. Moo, Moo is like, has like got our backs this holiday season. They're like, nice. you guys need cool stuff. Y'all need to send some postcards to your family. You guys need new business cards for holiday events. We got you. So it's going to be awesome. I don't know if you've ever had business cards from Moo, but they're pretty fancy. I have business cards from a uh, different brand. A different brand. Different company, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do love Moo's because yeah. uh, um, Whenever I have my friend's business card from Moon, I mm -hmm. just like take it and then put it on my wall. Yeah, because <laughs> I have so the nice, print. Yeah. It's like a free mini print. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I, was like, I have your contact, but I want your print and then just yeah. like put and it. And they on have there. the. I always get yeah. mine with that coating because it has like that oh, fancy yes, like soft so flex cool. coating, and I'm like, oh, amazing. <laughs> so highly recommend them. So I'm just testing random stuff. So I cut this part from mm -hmm. this tree, and I just want to see if I can blend it in the top, you know? Yeah. Um, behind the main mountains, which I don't know if it will look good or not. But there's only one way to find out. Kind of add to... like a little more depth and yeah. distance there. That's really neat. Let's turn it to kind of desaturate it, make it a little bit bright. Kimberly, welcome in. How are you today? Maybe add a little blue. Well, I hope. And how many of you guys are designing along with us? Or how many of you guys are prepping? How many of you all are preparing your portfolio for review? <laughs> Here on Adobe Live, we sometimes make up our own words for things. <laughs> it happens every once in a while. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently we do. <laughs> I don't know if this is, so this is like something I'll be trying, like, I'll have an idea that I want to try it, and I was like, is this actually going to work? Like, I don't really know. I don't know, where did that go? There you go. So, probably not. Yeah, it doesn't work the way I want it. So, this is why I say goodbye it. to this, yep. and <laughs> my back up, trying to pull it in my back up. <laughs> so help me. Keep it up, guys, watching from Quebec. Awesome. Mm, Welcome, Philippe. I want, like, something crazy there. What's like a... I need like an example to study. Cause I look at it, it's like, oh. Like something dramatic. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I wanted to make it to. Um, I wonder what would happen far, if you far, actually far search dramatic mountains. Ooh, we should try that. Like, yeah. Give me a second. Like in stock, I bet. I feel like I'm always amazed at what you can actually search and find in Adobe stock. You know, like I always, I always think like, oh, I should probably search this and this for what I'm looking for. And then when I finally break and just like search like exactly what I have in my head, <laughs> I seem to always find it then. So know, maybe right? we might get something like dramatic snow mountain. Maybe it'll come up. Voodoo, I tagged you in my latest Star Wars composition hey. via Twitter. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Tag me in all the Star Wars things, guys. Yeah, I think this would be fun. <laughs> I want to see them. <laughs> Let's see. Faded. Mm. This will be our option one for the background. Yeah, yeah. 
they can even make it more dramatic. Kind of has like say. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that good like um, staggered. Yeah, so kind of look. That, oh, not rep. Sorry. B -b 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 there is one, Daniel. I have to see for myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I'm not sure if I wanted to do that. Dramatic mountain. <laughs> I need to make it more code. All right, let's go back to here. Princess Peak. <laughs> this is like a, a spelling check. Everybody's gonna know I don't know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Those are some seriously dramatic mountains. Snow, maybe. Yeah, I typed in dramatic snow mountains and I actually it's got some. Find it cool? Let me know. Wow. You, know, you can find a number and just like throw it at me. And be like, yeah, oh, for sure. Sweet. I will absolutely do that. I'm helping too. I feel so special. <laughs> so this is so cool. Go on Google. So, can I go on Pinterest on here? Just like do. If you want to. Yeah. For inspiration. That's where I go for all of my inspiration. So sometimes I'll go on Pinterest look for it. Oh, Dragon Ball. Um, Maybe I will um, snow, like keep it over here mountain. and look at some dramatic mountains ah. just to make sure because I think Pinterest can be a little unpredictable sometimes with what will come up. Oh. Um, so um, I will jump over here yeah. real quick. Jumping you're yeah. helping me with that. And, and I will look at some cool dramatic mountains till you find something that inspires you. Yes, yes. There's actually like a pretty great um, like panorama um, piece. Help that me. is pretty awesome. Um, Help me, General Val. Yeah, my only hope. <laughs> Help me, General Val. <laughs> yeah, my only hope. <laughs> Star Wars put some uh, AT, AT walkers in that composite. Hey, uh, it, we could totally, <clears throat> we we could could, totally but, do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> As I know, I was working on it from Disney's watching this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, drop Disney it. Disney employees quick. looking in the chat. <laughs> They're always looking, guys. The, the they horse know. is strong here. I feel I, I like I almost feel bad that every time I am here, the chat always like migrates over to Star Wars stuff. But I'm only partially, only only That's only great. partially. Feel I love bad. it. <laughs> I love Star Wars. Yep. Two minutes and counting. We've got we've got a minute ooh, and a half ooh. now until this chat, <clears> and I am so excited. Uh, good morning, Ted and Voodoo Val, watching from New Zealand. It's good to see you again, Beck. What's Thank some, you for like, coming back. <clears throat> what's some key word for like to describe the mountain that goes, uh, you know, like far away or like? Hmm. Like you could do like distant mountains. Let's see mm -hmm. what comes up. Distant mountain. So sometimes I'll also be like thinking about like if there's any cool mountain I ever see out there, you know, Yosemite could be cool, Olympic mm -hmm. National Park could be cool. You could also, we could also search like fantasy mountains. Ooh, fantasy mountain. That could be awesome. Now if you guys are also searching on Adobe Stock, let me know if you find something cool and then you can just type in the number and mm -hmm. I can type on here and, see and then if we use like that, it. right? I'll be For like, sure. hey, look at this, cool. There's a lot of pretty crazy mountains. None with snow though. Cast people don't like snow in their fantasy. <laughs> yeah. It's too cold. They want it to be warm. Okay, let's see. Do you mm. name like your uh, audience like a like a certain like a name for your army or like the squad? Like you know. Sometimes, like, yeah, I call them the voodoo what do you dolls. Call the voodoo dolls. I'm voodoo Val, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, voodoo dolls, help or I just me. <laughs> call them trolls sometimes. Here's some actually, like, maybe like a cool piece for inspiration, because this is like the same ratio mm -hmm. as yours, and this guy has got like some pretty, like, cool. Oh, that's like, really cool. Yeah. Do something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. give me that. We're going to see if we can fit that in here. Yeah. Do you want the number here? Uh, Yes. Here. What's I'll the number? Let you take a gander. 2741 mm -hmm. 4364. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it? Yep. All right. Uh, don't know how to pronounce there you the go. name, but that's pretty cool. Zamoe Piaz. I might have butchered that. I tried, though. <laughs> um, but let's take a break yeah. before we start putting that into the piece. We are about to do our chat and win. I'm so excited. We got our fireworks going. Um, so let's maybe let's do a oh, let's do a uh, like a like a chat poll. I want you guys to tell us when you guys think of like dramatic fantasy scenes. Do you think of scenes with snow or do you think of like forest scenes? I feel like it's usually either or. I like so, the most. Fantasy so. snow scenes or fantasy forest scenes? Go. <laughs> Mm. 
Welcome back, everyone. Ooh. Yeah, we've got some. We've got a lot of snow. A lot of. Ooh, we've got even fantasy desert scenes. Oh, I love desert. I a lot of people I love are. Desert. A lot of people so are cool. saying snow though, which is crazy considering yeah. we were looking for some and not finding. We will create our snow. own fantasy together. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, so in a few moments here, we are going to have our winner appear in the winner, air winner, via me. magic <laughs> in a moment. So please. until then, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm loving all of these suggestions here. Everybody is saying Star Wars snow scene. Star Wars. You guys know my heart. And I really want to like create a Star Wars on my own thing art yep, when yep, I'm yep. off and I'll show you guys. Yep, yep. I will be keeping an eye so, yeah, open for it. With this outfit, I can. if you have a lightsaber, we can totally just Photoshop you. I know. I wish I should have brought make you, like, a lightsaber the with me. Sith Lord. You guys can't I see everything, <laughs> but I am totally in like a Sith Lord dress right Dude, now. Dude, like the outfit is I look crazy. very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a Sith Lord. Oh, is the name gonna pop up somewhere? Pretty soon. We're waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of summoning it. It's take, it's taking like a so lot I'm of concentration. Yeah. Fireworks. It's like the fireworks are great. It's supposed to be fireworks. supposed to be fancy and entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> purple snow. I've never seen purple Ooh. snow. I feel like that would be terrifying. I'd be worried. I saw about someone like uh, this guy on Instagram. He turned uh, everything uh, daily life photos to like rainbow color. That's awesome. And it's not just like a rainbow rainbow, but like he actually painted on it to make it like super what? realistic. So there's like a photo he posted like rainbow snow. So that was really cool. That's awesome. So there, Purple snow in that rainbow snow. Someone says, "Hold on, Voodoo Val doesn't just carry a lightsaber around." I'm trying to. I, know. I don't. I don't want to tell like all of my secrets. I may or may not. I just don't have one right next to me right this moment. It's for self defense. It's gonna. Going all right. right. Cool. So we're gonna go for it with this uh, piece, and when our um, Adobe Winter bots Adventure. find a name, we will announce yes. them. Um. So while she found in this photo, I actually found this photo and this Very photo. Cool. So we gotta see what's gonna happen. But those are just like that one I like. Temporary like really, backup photos. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Can kind of so try them all. In off your here. concept art, what you're doing, do you do a lot of landscape too, a little bit? Or? You know what? I'm just getting into doing more um, like environment, like landscape backgrounds and stuff. I actually um, usually stick to like uh, portraiture. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we've got actually a number here. I'm gonna look Ooh. up if I can. What's the number? Um, I'll type it in real quick. Because uh, I would need your knowledge to see if things actually looks let's right. See. <laughs> um, but yeah, usually oh, we've got some. That. He sent us some penguins. So if oh, you decide you so want to put penguins in, um, penguins. but yeah, penguins. I usually ice do, skating on the snow. How uh, cute would that be? Yeah, just like like you know sliding past. <laughs> um, I do usually do um, like more portraits and stuff. So not a lot of room for uh, landscapes in the back. Mm -hmm. But I should. I really should. So, oh, 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 there we oh, go. Oh, 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 Christopher, Christopher Wilson. Wilson. Congratulations. You are the winner of a $30 Moo gift card. Yes. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's um, nice. But wait, there is more. If you guys did not win the, the gift card, if you are not Christopher Wilson, you can go to moo.com slash Adobe Live for discount um, on uh, um, an order from Moo. Um, so everybody wins. Everybody gets a prize. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys order. If you guys do some cool designs and stuff, definitely post them when you get them because we want to see what you guys use this to create. So you see I keep like zooming in out because I'm trying to figure out if this lighting is actually coming uh, at the right way, mm -hmm. right? So in earlier in the scene, we have the lighting, I'm going to use the black color for this. The mm -hmm. lighting is definitely coming out from this way, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not Ron. <laughs> no, I, I think so. It so. looks like that, but on this right here, it looks like it's coming out from this direction. So maybe flip so it's one coming out from this direction, mm -hmm. right? So I wasn't sure. I was trying to figure out like looks like the shadow is right here, the light is right here, it's mm -hmm. coming, but this is casting shadow. Mm -hmm. So it looks like and there's height light here, so it looks like it was like coming from like this direction. Yeah, coming. yeah. It's like a 3D space coming towards you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I would keep zooming in. I was like, I wasn't sure, and I keep looking at it. So I was like, I do think the light was coming out from the yeah, left. Yeah, a little bit. So we might have to uh, flip it real quick. Um, let's do that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No problem, Kimberly. 
I want giant mecha penguins battling it out on the ice. Whoa. Um, but penguins are so like cute. We, Why we do probably, they have to be yeah, each other? We probably won't do that, but I think oh, you're perfect. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do giant mecha penguins, that's fine. I was trying to save you from have to, having to spend the time. Because that's pretty that's pretty crazy. That's if pretty you want fun. to, you can. But I think that Jan Eric actually is super capable of doing that himself. And now if I don't see giant mecha penguins battling on the ice <laughs> from you in the, the next few days, Jan, I'm gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> I'm gonna be, be sad. Where is the penguin? Yeah, mecha penguins. Where did they go? And you can see if I click on and off, you see this part, there's like a white showing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mask is not clear for that part. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna brush that up. So sometimes I do that, I turn it on and off just to see if there's anything wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, that, that's fine so far. And I create, put that into a group, and then doing some like masking on here because you can see right here is fading away, so it's probably like the haziness or snow is covering from a distance. Mm -hmm. So I probably want to do the same on this big mountain on here, maybe with like 13% opacity, mm -hmm. just brushing it out, and then just to see if I can blend them better in there. And then I feel like I should still make it a little bit blue-ish. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty great. I like that um, the house, like there's like a small part of it that has like that darker blue value yeah. too that kind of ties it into the rest of it, but it's still a lot lighter and like in the distance. It's really cool. So yeah, I'm still gonna move it around. Also, we've got 52 minutes until our portfolio submission deadline. So if you guys um, work with Photoshop um, and you do you know, some of your own editing and compositing work, um, definitely submit your portfolios. Uh, we're gonna choose two of them at the end of the segment. Um, and Tim, or Tim and I, <laughs> Ted and I are gonna go Tim? over, <laughs> Tim's in chat. I was reading his chat messages and just said it out loud. Oh, uh, Ted and I are gonna go over um, a couple of portfolios. We're in space, we're going to space first. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we will give you guys uh, some feedback, so. Okay, so, oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. Oh yeah. Um, so usually at this point I'll have, this is my option one. Mm -hmm. So I have this temporary being here, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna have it mm -hmm. there. But so I might move it around or put it somewhere, but I know like, okay, at this now I have this as my option. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn it off and then try my option two, which is this really cool, uh, Big mountain. Yeah. Um, it looks like the light, light is definitely coming from left to right on the top. This is a light source right here. It's painted, and there's the foreground. It looks like an Oreo chocolate ice it cream. It does. It really does. <laughs> it's like, mm, I was sort of thinking that. Crunchy and then delicious. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess one thing in the snow or like when it's foggy outside, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a soft filter on there. So like the light tend to bounce around all the time. Mm -hmm. And then um, also doesn't strongly show like directly they come from one side. If it's like really like heavy snow or covered by like fog or cloud, you yeah. know. So um, sometimes it's really they just, you can't really find where is it coming from. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just go for it, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so let's say if we want to put it right here. Maybe that's like a cool spot. We'll put it around there. Nice. Maybe. Let's try that. I'm gonna bring back, turn it to blue. Everyone's still whispering about the glass castle. I don't know if we could find a glass castle. Help me. Oh, yeah, you can I'll, find a yeah, um, glass castle while it. I'm doing the foreground glass composite. Yeah, let's <clears> see. <throat> So sometimes I'll just invert the whole mask and then pin it back, mm -hmm. so um, I can kind of see where everything is. Mm -hmm. But if not, you can also just like brush the reverse way. So just like brush them gotcha. in and off. So it's a different like way to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's like, General, how's the <laughs> finding? <laughs> the glass Finally castle. The glass castle. Have you located it? I can't. I'm not seeing any glass castles. Did you type glass castle? I did type glass castle. What about glass, glass castle? <laughs> I see sand castles that you could maybe 
make. Oh, wood. you can help me to figure out how to turn a castle to glass. <laughs> oh man, I don't. I wouldn't even know where to start. I uh, know, right? There is actually like a pretty cool 3D model here of that. What about like? It looks like 3D. This is not glass castle. No. What about glass house or glass something? Let's see. Oh, just type glass, glass building. Yeah, glass something something. Maybe. Put a penguin from penguin from Batman. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be, he'd be, he'd be so out of place, but also where he belongs. <laughs> so, what do you think? I can have option one is to keep that foreground there mm -hmm. or cover it, you know. I so now like I have two, like, sloping right? Now I have down. like two different options. So, this is where I always get, spend a lot of time, like option one, option two. But now we don't have space for the glass castle. Oh. We could like kind of nestle it in the, in the mountains there. If we find one. If we find one. I'm not seeing a glass castle. So now I'm just um, slowly painting back this uh, frozen lake. It's like the part where the lake is come back with the, the ground. Mm -hmm. So um, it's usually like pretty flat. And then just fading them in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm actually digging it. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Now let's see, can I force to add this back in here or that's like not gonna work? Oh, I wonder if we get something if I did like glass sculpture. Glass sculpture? Yeah, maybe oh. like something that looks like a building. Yes. That could be used if we get lucky. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can add this on the top. Mm -hmm. You know, it might not work, might work. I'm gonna do it that. Invert my mask and then see if I can pin them back in a way. Ooh, let's see, we've got some numbers in chat. I'm gonna check these out that you guys are sending us. I'm gonna have to desaturate it. Oh, there's a glass castle. There's a glass castle. Oh my oh goodness. My God. You guys are fantastic. Holy moly. Wow. Oh, this is about to get excited. There was one more. I'm going to snag the uh, the number for the other one they sent, just in case we like that one as well. This is gonna be fun, guys. And then for you we'll guys. See. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I was like, He's ooh, like, he found it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find one. <laughs> like, oh no. All right. Okay, so what was I doing again? Save the file, and I'm gonna go in here to take a closer look. Um, yeah, look, there's another one. It's the same one from the front view. Oh, so what are my options? So you have front castle, front glass castle, like that, mm -hmm. which actually it like matches what you're working on really well, and then the side view of that glass castle. See, I feel like the side view will probably, probably, <laughs> Talk now. See, blah, 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 blah. Made fun of me 15 <laughs> minutes ago, but now look. <laughs> um, you get my point. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, but it would the side view one would look cool, like kind of nestled right yeah, there. Yeah, I think side center. view will probably match better. For sure, for right. sure. All right, I'll keep that one up yeah, then. That's so a great find. I'm fading the. Uh, the further mountain back mm -hmm. into there, right? Yeah, I like that. I think yeah. that looks fantastic. So when uh, when you're trying to blending in two different mountains or distant, mm -hmm. um, especially in fog or snowing uh, scene, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's always, uh, I guess it's like, if you're out there adventure and you see them yourself, you kind of mm -hmm. like remember how it looks and yeah. you compare with that, or you can find reference photos. So there's mm -hmm. like uh, one mountain, I guess I would do like this way, right? Mm -hmm. So there's one mountain and then there's like snow and then mm -hmm. there's the second mountain that's kind of fading away. Mm -hmm. So now like kind of fading away into each layer. layer. And over you and over. also gotta remember like between those mountains, there's always like a different snow going through or mm -hmm. like fog or something hazing. Mm -hmm. So like adding like that different layers into it. Um, Absolutely. I have a pretty cool look. Um, to make it more realistic, mm -hmm. because that's the word I'm looking and for. And add yeah. that that depth and and all that good stuff. Yeah, so I'm um, just lucky for like the the concept art that we found was a pretty good um, example to use just to like layer it up things. For on sure. The back. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Monier says, "What goes around comes around." What oh goes yeah. Around. 
Oh, are you allowed to sing song on here? Because it's I like don't I don't think we can because uh, we might. Or we'll just we read it. Get, what yeah. goes around it's like four <laughs> comes four, around. <laughs> four bars of humming, and that's about all we can yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all we can do. Uh, good working? to see you, okay, Marcin. Welcome in. Mm, Thing down a little bit, just a little bit. Got 43 uh, minutes until our portfolio submission deadline. Um, Also, uh, just a reminder, um, if you guys submitted your portfolios for the earlier stream um, with Aaron and Paul um, and did not get chosen, you can submit it again uh, for this segment to be included um, in uh, the pool of what is chosen from. Um, And if you don't get it in this segment, you guys can submit it again for the um, the third segment. But if you're if you're maybe having second thoughts about submitting it uh, for this for this week um, or you're not sure I would say um, definitely go for it this is unfortunately the last uh, compositing stream of this week um, so yeah so we're gonna we're Aww. gonna be going our separate ways after it's this so is fun. a great chance to um, to to um, just go for it and, and see what happens someone built an actual ice castle ooh let me check this out. What, 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 I'm what, gonna what type doing? in this. Tim has given us a uh, another number. This is so fun. I get to like like. Dude, look I at wish the I can like add it like this all the time because then like we can just communicate and people help me find cool stuff and be like streaming is community. Uh, that somebody did actually build a legitimate ice castle, like carved out of like, legit do ice. Do you want to build it? Ice <laughs> castle. <laughs> Up. Wow, yeah, there's like a bunch clean. of different um, images for it, or different castles, different ice castles. This person has done. So, Very cool. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just adding like the the hazing as we mentioned before. So it's kind of like there's a storm coming. You know, yeah, right? I'm liking it. I'm like, digging it. Oh, load up the ring, right? mm-hmm. Put a little put Gandalf like right here. Gandalf, <laughs> you <laughs> shall not pass. Fuck <laughs> you, fool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So from the beginning, right, we yeah, have this, see. and then we add in the white on the top, mm-hmm. and then now we add the ice on the foreground, mm-hmm. and then we have this uh, fantasy mountain that we found on there, and then adding the mountain on the back, and a little bit of snow on the top. Yeah. You know? Also, like, uh, when things are fading away, they seem to be a little bit more uh, desaturated. Um, so we're gonna put a hue saturation layer on the top, and then probably invert it, and then pan back from the top with like 30%. So we don't like overdone it, and then I don't want this too blue, but just a little bit. And then we can always bring it back down to like 60% or something. And we can test to see like which one works better. Um, so I'll say maybe 15. Okay. Right on. Cool. All right. So the castle. I'm gonna I'm gonna pan over real quick What's and the... show them oh, what this one because at? they wanted to see. Oh, the this snow This is the thing. one that Tim sent. The somebody that had made an actual legitimate snow castle, and then he sent me this one to tell and told me that I would love it. Star Trek, right? yeah. Um, but this is the one where, yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> this is the one that we are going to go for, and the number is 8298. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay, yes. Ready? It's 8298. Uh, 8298. Uh, 4172. 4172. There we go. So, yeah, this is also a thing I didn't know before. Um, so, that's like if your browser a lot like um, stock photo on Adobe Stock, mm-hmm. and then you keep opening different window, and then if you save a preview on your desk, and later on if you're trying to uh, find the same one, right, you can actually just type in the number, mm-hmm. and you'll find it right away. Yeah, like um, that. Yeah, so you just type in the number, copy, or send it to like people, and then like just download it. Um, so before I was like trying to do like, oh, I don't remember where I found this stock photo, but mm-hmm. I saw the number. I was like, oh, that's like way easier than trying to type like Ice Castle 3D illustration because a lot of things might pop up exactly. at the same time. Yeah. It's like you put the direct number in there and then you can find it right away. All right. This, this is fun. This is really cool. Now I want to put like some white walkers or like yeah, ice dragons, you know. <laughs> find me an ice dragon, guys. That would be awesome. Yeah. We can find one. Uh, uh, Club. Uh, Sweater says hello there. Hello. Who? Welcome in. 
Hello there. <laughs> I see. Read the chat real quick. Ballistic Hello, gel castle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> exact process for ice castle. That's pretty cool. I used the. Uh, I have this castle stock photo, not the ice version, but like mm -hmm. a different one. I think it was the same model, but it was mm -hmm. like a different and then color rendered one. Yeah. Differently. So whoever came making this, different thank material. you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. I believe this is um, from Koya979. Shout on, out to uh, Koya. Adobe, Adobe stock. So um, this is an interesting. I can either just go with like full choosing the, the white color, right? So I'll show mm -hmm. you guys what I mean. Uh, whoops, forgot to uh, cover my mask. And then I'm gonna turn that off and then do that again. Uh, select the color range. Do this. Okay. And so I was this is thinking. This gonna be a hard one because it has white. Yeah, yeah. The so um, the thing is that I'm gonna try and see uh, what would be an easier way to show it. Um, so, yeah. So. What I was doing was I using the um, select color range, mm -hmm. right? So um, I can either do the option one is with this. So this is like pure, um, just select the white out of it, right? Wow. So I can easily do it. But also I figure, if I, if I, uh, I figure <laughs> out like there's actually some white on the top of the castle. So it mm -hmm. might be interesting just to select some part of it so it gives that look of transparency. Because mm -hmm. uh, um, eyes you can kind of see through on mm -hmm. the back, you know. This one so, looks like it's pretty, I mean, at least from here, looks like it's a pretty clean select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we'll Oof. test it out. So this is like a different one. So mm -hmm. even though it has the black part is showing, mm -hmm. so we're going to actually group those and then bring them both to Ooh. here. Haha, <laughs> and then the flower earlier. Oops, sorry. Do that again. Yay, to here. The color is like... Hmm? Spot on, too. I know. Like, that's so crazy. <laughs> so, option one, this is the one without the um, transparency options showing on there, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'll just get a closer look with that. And then, option two is the one kind of, I can reduce um, the Y selecting, but you can see like some part, you can actually see the mountain behind. Mm -hmm. So, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually nice, yeah. Yeah, compared to part one and part two, right? So, yeah. now we have like a different right here, you know, it's a very different. It definitely Fine looks like yeah, it yeah. belongs in the scene a little bit yeah. more. So what I'll be idea. doing is actually going back because I actually want something in between. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, that was like too powerful. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the same thing and then uh, select color range. We can, you can also use the select subject and all that. There's just a different way to do different things. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I think around maybe here, 30, 30 should be okay. Whoa, did you replace the colors? I don't think you edited the colors for the castle yet. You, it just happens to match everything in the I other know, right? piece really well. So as I say, you know, finding the right color or the right stock photo is mm -hmm. just make your life way easier. So yeah, having kind of like that ice feeling. I can see through it. Might have to fix that part there. Um, so yeah, brand do it better sick. is to do that and mask it and then bring the whole thing here. So I can always pin it back. Um, like, say this part is missing, right? Mm -hmm. um, oops. And do that, and do that, and do that, and pressing back in here. Yay. So I guess this is how it looks on that. <laughs> um, I'm going to press F twice. Yes, click the wrong thing. OK, now time to place this. So this is actually kind of like dangerous because uh, um, it's Blending in with the background, you know. So well, yeah. So right. um, either we have to blur the whole background and just mm -hmm. like focus on the uh, castle, or, or add some more atmosphere, maybe. Yeah. So we gotta figure out how to like make it look better. Like we can even try just to desaturate it more. You could desaturate it, or maybe make it. Yeah. Ooh, I actually so like that with like the green. Frozen. Ad. Yeah. yeah. We gotta like kind of do that. Cause you don't want everything. Like you want to have the same color tone, but like not blending in all together. Cause yeah. you'd be like, "What am I looking at again?" <laughs> um, so maybe maybe with that a little bit. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is to I'm gonna group everything on the background together. Um, there's actually a short key for that. I forgot what is it, but it duplicate all the visible layers and then merge into one photo. Oh wow! Um, okay. But usually I'll I'll just do the silly way. I select all of it mm -hmm. and press come in J, duplicate the whole thing and come and in E. You know, yeah, ta da! That's what I usually <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I forgot the short key. So if you guys know, um, come in the chat. Let me know because I totally forgot. Um, 
Yeah, sometimes I have to like go Google stuff, just like how do you do this and how do you do that. So now I have the whole background as a、uh, one photo. I'm just gonna leave it there.、Uh, like usually I don't do that right away.、Mm -hmm. um, I'm just doing it just in case.、Um, hopefully I don't need to change anything back on there.、Mm -hmm. But you know I'll still have every layer.、Um, yeah, underneath. Yeah, just in case.、So、I'm just gonna. Command Alt Shift E. Oh. Option. Command Alt Shift E, right? Come in. Oh shit! Let's try that. Oh, did I have to select him? Oh, voila! There you, there you go. go. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. That was、yeah. from Tim. All right. Tim's the master. There you go. See, I always forgot like the short key. Yeah. <laughs> like, what was it? yeah. Every once in a while, like if you、yeah. don't use it all the time, you have to like stay in、yeah. practice using those things. I feel like I need like a giant whiteboard next to me, like you know, everything. I did that when I first. I did it. Yeah, same here. Yeah, when I did when I first started using Photoshop, I wanted to use the hotkeys、um, uh, because I think that when I first jumped into the program, I was a little overwhelmed because、mm -hmm. there was like so much to do, and I'd never used、um, a program for digital art before, so、um, I was. Like kind of overwhelmed,、um, and so what I did was I sat down and I played with the tools until I found、um, the ones that I felt worked best for me. You know、mm -hmm. the ones that I like. So I, and I made a list. So I was like, I like to use the brush tool. Same, I like to do、same. like free transform all these things. And then I went and looked them all up on uh, uh, the internet to see what the hotkeys were.、Mm -hmm. And I made myself a list and I posted it next to my monitor so that I could <laughs> use it. I did the same、mm -hmm. thing too. Yeah. And then I I did the、um, if you press F then you can go into like the different views and I just go into like the third view where、um, you can't see any of the interface you just have your canvas in the black space、um, and then I just use hotkeys for everything、um, which can be confusing if I'm broadcasting live and everyone's like how <laughs> how do you do that what is going、yeah. on、um, but it's it's really fun that's my my favorite、mm -hmm. way to to paint in Photoshop. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I trying to find the perspective like that actually、uh, match、mm -hmm. um, with the background,、mm -hmm. and then、um, I group them and then create all the layer mask because、um, I still have the layer mask on my、uh, main castle,、mm -hmm. so I don't want to mess around with that one. I'm just gonna group them and then create a new layer so I can、um, brush this part back in. So、gotcha. it doesn't affect the mask on the castle, because like there's like maybe like small little part I want to fix on the castle,、mm -hmm. you know. So like、um, I don't want to like mess up with that yet,、sure. unless I'm like really sure that's like what I wanted to do. So you change your opacity of the brush to like maybe 30 or 50 percent, and then just kind of like brush them in. I'll still jump around like 60 to like make them like blending better.、Mm -hmm. And then there's like this foreground already, so it's like kind of just nice, nicely. Um, goes together, you know. Yeah, just nestled together. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Really、so、well. it's just like kind of go with that, you know, and then you don't even have to like worry about it too much. And then there's like this little two different curve coming together. So、I'll、for sure, want to erase the front one and then do with that right here. It might be cool to like go in and add like maybe some small like hill slopes like kind of intersecting. Yeah, yeah. Like、so it's like oh different way. Yeah. So I still need to figure out like well this actually looks cool、um, compared to like.、Uh, Some of the other ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's kind of like a, that's really interesting and definitely maybe like a prominent part of your process where you don't just pick, you know,、uh, a handful of things and that's like your final decision and then you just make do with that. Like you have backups and you have like secondary、um, uh, ideas and stuff that、mm -hmm. you might want to try that you line up just in case things don't go quite right. Yeah,、so、I mean usually、really、like I'll go with like one direction. Let's、mm -hmm. say like I want something fantasy or. Sort of dreamy、mm -hmm. and stuff, so I don't like have to like change too much about it. For sure.、Um, yeah. But that I think that's that's great because like to to be able to see that.、Um, Because I'm, like so many of us, like we have like artists and stuff that we admire, and we look at their portfolios and everything,、mm -hmm. and it's easy to imagine that they go from point A to point B、yeah. immediately, you know. And and then it's also、um, easy to sort of feel bad about yourself and your own process when you go to make something and you don't get there like smoothly from yeah, beginning to to end. But to know that there's like these bumps in the road or these changes in ideas、mm -hmm. in the middle of your process, it, it makes it feel more. Relatable, more human, and、um, more experimental, which is、yeah. really nice. So there's two things I want to try right now.、Um, mm -hmm. Like 
the goal is to separate the castle from the background because mm -hmm. right now it's just like blending in, you know. So yeah. if you if you're looking from far away, you know, it's like it's like a can't really tell what right it there, is. right? So um, two different ways. One way is probably um, got some blur of the background, mm -hmm. and then just the mountains, so you have like a different blur. Uh, Fading away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second way, just probably uh, adding like an other layer of like white snow behind it. Mm -hmm. It's like a haze fog going through, so like right you have on. that distance separated. Um, so hopefully it will work. And mm -hmm. as you see, like this layer, I'm clicking right out. Let's just coat it blur. Um, that's like the uh, second layer we just create. So which mm -hmm. is the same as the background right now. Gotcha. And in this case, since I we're not sure how is it gonna go, so we might just right click it and let me convert you to smart object. Yeah, smart objects Yay, today. Yeah, fairly smart guys. Ha, ha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joel says, "I like the way you think." Thank uh, you. This is great. I just rediscovered Behance, loving the community so much. Well, we're happy to have I know. you here. This is like my first time, like actually in, uh, engaged with Behance audience. That's awesome. Um, yeah, because I, I was just like always building like in the different platform, mm -hmm. but it's so like great up on here doing it's live a lot and of talk fun. to people and hearing like different all kind of like use the mm -hmm. useful feedback and all of that. I was just like, oh, this is so exciting. You know, yeah. you have like a full community that's like being so supportive, and then like people are like, helping you. Like if something you don't remember, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's like. This turkey and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's so fun, you know? It's so great to have a live audience like this. I've been doing it for so long myself. I mm -hmm. don't know what I would do if, like, every day I couldn't sit down and, like, have the community there right. with me creating. Right. What am I going to do with <laughs> it's a, you It's guys? a pretty awesome experience. So I'm going to try uh, 13 and um, create a layer mask. And then we just got to invert it. I always like to invert it some, sometimes, not always. Mm -hmm. Not always, but. And then we can change to. Yeah, I'm gonna use fill screen. I like to drag around. Like I don't know if, if you guys like to do the same thing, I do, yeah, but I don't like it when it's like space. stick. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if it's like fill screen, like I can't move too much about it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I have to like be able to move this, um, and then we just kind of brush it back in like the more blur. Yeah. Actually, we could just do this. We can try use the. Uh, Gradient tool and then drag it. Was it this way? Ooh. Yeah. And then um, you can um, link the mask and then move them down nice. a little bit. So like, kind of maybe like that. Just trying to see, I'm trying to see what the blur should stop. Like maybe right here. Yeah. And then uh, kind of. Brush it back in a little bit. Made my page last night, so it's still all over the place and unfinished. I think I think that's like also that's my, my page too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like you're not I, alone. <laughs> I I kind of like just like put everything I've ever done like on Behance, and then as the weeks and months sort of pass, I visit it every once in a while and think mm, maybe I'll remove this one or I, maybe I'll like combine some of these projects because they all kind of go together. That and it just evolves over over time. So don't feel bad. Uh, we do it too. <laughs> no, no, no. So since I converted to smart object, I can always go back and change the uh, Gaussian blur on it. Mm -hmm. You can just like click on this right here. It's like smart filters and yeah. you click on it and then maybe bring it back to I think 6.6. .6, yeah, because uh, it was like too blur away. And mm -hmm. then if overall is still too strong, it might be easy to just play with the opacity a little bit. So um, I think it's looking better than mm -hmm. before. Um, let's see, this is like without the blur. Yeah, maybe like make it a little bit stronger. Mm, simplify, right? Then you can see um, the difference. Um, let's just go closer and right there. You know what might work too to like pull it out just a little bit is mm -hmm. if the darkest mountain back there yeah. came up a little higher, like either it came up higher or the castle was slightly lower so that you could see the tip, like the end of the castle. Which month's end? Yeah, because this one here is darker yeah. and mm. you can see the castle details against that background really, really mm. well. So I if it was mean. if it was above a little bit. So you so mean that, like smaller? Or, yeah, either yeah. that smaller or the other mountain larger or even even like super big like that. <laughs> Bigger! Because cool. then you can see like those details wow. on the top of the castle. there you go. But just an idea. I mean, you're, you're in control of the design here. Wait, help me, like a little bit up on like, like that? Yeah, that could be yeah, cool. Okay. I actually so really like that. Because like then you can see like the top of the castle is darker than the mountains up at the top. So mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. still see that there. And then you get some of that nice detail um, of the like the middle of the castle against that dark mountain in the back. 
this is why it's better to add it together than yeah. being alone. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, what can I do better <laughs> to make this cool? So I'll make sure the details in here. I'm not losing that. Whoa. A little bit haze uh. here. <laughs> I thought you were yelling. <laughs> no, I was just looking at <laughs> looking at chat. Sorry. What are they saying? I'm not over here just laughing at you. <laughs> oh, I thought that was your job. No. <laughs> That's that's only outside of stream. Outside on, of stream. on stream, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I'm kidding. So rude. We get along very well, guys. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> She's bullying me off camera. <laughs> I keep wanting to change this. I don't know why. Make it cool. No pun intended. That's ah. what they say. Except for I know that you intended uh, for that to be uh, a pun. Okay, I might do this, and then do that. Cody Am Bear is in chat. Here, Hello, please. Cody. It's good to see you. Another fantastic designer. The chat is so full of amazing artists. If you guys have not taken the time to check out each other's Behances and stuff like that, uh, you definitely should. There's a, a lot of really wonderfully talented people um, uh, in this community, and you guys can all make some really spectacular art friends. So yeah, so earlier I had the, um, I used the gradient tool to um, blur the uh, background, but mm -hmm. I really like, um, but the mountain doesn't really go like how the gradient tool goes, so you still mm -hmm. have to go back in and pen it, so that's what I'm doing right now, because mm -hmm. this mountain should be more blurred than this part, mm -hmm. um, this is still slightly sharper than like um, the one behind, um, sure. but not all, uh, not all the way sharp, you know, and then this definitely like should be more. Okay, and then, we're gonna try, so that was the castle, right? And then, um, I put this layer here earlier. I don't know what I was gonna do with it, mm -hmm. <laughs> so. You could still like try it out and, and maneuver um, with it just a little bit. I am move it out of the way, mm -hmm. so like, oh, not there. But I'm just gonna temporarily remove it mm -hmm. so it doesn't cause any confusion for me. Um, create a new layer, probably using a colder snow. Uh, I'm gonna try this way using my little cloud brush and then see if it goes on that and then I'm gonna blur it. And I'm actually gonna go back to here. Probably use this better. Nice. Mm. And then, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they bring it down. It's not gonna be too strong about it. Hello Gideon, welcome in. Um, also, just a quick reminder, we've got around 20 minutes until our portfolio submission deadline. So if you guys also work in Photoshop and do some cool editing and compositing uh, work in there, um, definitely submit your portfolios for review. Uh, Ted and I are going to review um, two different uh, portfolios at the end of the cast and uh, give some, some feedback um, and some advice and stuff on um, maybe ways to improve and, mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the portfolio review tab for more details above the chat pod. Um, and if you did already submit your portfolio uh, during the previous cast and you did not get chosen, feel free to enter again uh, so that we know that you're still here, still present, um, and still looking to get a review and you might get chosen. Mm -mm -mm, adding noise. Just kind of find a way to make it look more real. Yeah. You know I mean? uh, Khalil, welcome in. Good to see you. I'm gonna turn it down a little little bit see-through right there. That's better. And then do a little bit of lighting manipulation. Wow. Oh, thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. <laughs> what? He's he posted my uh, behance. No. You're so nice. <laughs> Bring some highlights in there just to see what it actually looks like. Nice. might be cool too to um, maybe add uh, some of those darker tones that we have in the very bottom of the piece with like the cracked lake you know into the base mm, of like the right castle here? yeah like like the like the bottom blocks of the castle there if we had like some of that blue pull it in there it would look cool and also show that like it's much closer to us than the the mountains as well I was like, where's my lake <laughs> 
Uh, ah, there you are. There we go. The color tone, right? Yeah. Mm. Could look cool. Could maybe, cool, maybe. Maybe. Always gotta try to figure it out, because sometimes mm -hmm. you don't know. Sometimes you're like, uh, this, what, what did sure. I do? Uh huh. <laughs> I was also kind of like, wait, what happened? I'll probably try to turn that to. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Well, like a multiply. I don't know if multiply would work, but. So time to hover your mouse over everything. Yep. That's what I. That's what I do all the time. Actually, is I like, I have a set you know, few that I usually use a lot. Like I, mm -hmm. I usually go for um, like the color layers or overlay or um, multiply a I lot. I use screen a lot for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. screen as well um, or like soft light, but I tend to flip through all of them just in case like I, you know, stumble upon like a happy little accident, you know. I know, right? You know, it's like, oh, this something works better cool. than what I was expecting. Yeah, know? yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going crazy. Do we nix the bull, um, the frozen ship idea? That could be cool too. Have like a like a broken like shipwreck kind of frozen out in the middle of the cold wastes. <laughs> could be interesting. And we're trying to match the uh, cast of color to this blue. Might be better. Yeah. Is there a frozen ship? <laughs> <laughs> frozen ship? That's what they say. You gotta go find it. You gotta go find it. Yeah, let me try. I'll, I'll, I'll look for one. Yeah. The imagination, there's no limit to it in oh, this chat. Oh, yeah. Well, the greatest. It kind of looks really cool with like more like dark tones in it, actually. Oh, that one is actually oh. kind of cool. Kind of has a lot of atmosphere around it, so I don't know, but there's like a ship that's like. Wrecked in the. I'm gonna cover the snow. whole thing though. <laughs> yeah, that would be like a little intrusive, maybe. Let's mm -hmm. see. I'm gonna move this to. Hey, why well, you're not moving? Oh, moved the wrong thing. <laughs> I do that Why all the is time. It not moving? I was like, oh yeah, of course. Or I'm editing I'm on thing. one layer and I think that it's the right layer and then I go to like hide it and I realize that I've like done stuff over the wrong the wrong layer and I'm like, well, this is my life now. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's see. What else I want to do? Uh, here's the two things I can do to make this look better. First go back to here. Type snow, um, need a snow, white snow on the black background or transparent one. Like, nice. this would be something I like. And add some, some more atmosphere, kind of. Mm -hmm. Right on. Uh, and then maybe try that. Hopefully it will work. Do, do, do. Would it be possible to make it look like a ship was under the ice? It might be possible to do like maybe the ship is like partially under the ice and like the nose of a ship is like sticking up out of the ice. Could be interesting. Yeah. Oh, from that, just that like, you have to find the um, the subject with the right perspective because the the lake is like I was like trying to show the camera. The lake is going mm -hmm. like this way, right? Mm -hmm. And then the ship have to be like with like that kind angle. Of tilted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. so you can kind of see the top. And then uh, everything on there. Maybe we can try it if I find one, but it'd have, you'd have to find like the right image for that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm having a lot of window open, so I'm gonna close. Ooh, I forgot about that thing. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That could be a cool one, like some darker mountains closer. Yes. If you figure so out a go way on to here. add it. Um, there's a lot of things going on. And I'll be fine. Screen, yes. So you know like um, this black is mm -hmm. now like black black. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so it will so, like right? change. But the thing to fix that, just use this and clip it mm -hmm. and then change the black to a darker black. So it faded away, you see that? Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So then that wouldn't be there, you know? So if you have this in the regular mode, that's the color of that change. You can also probably like desaturate it. That's actually yeah. a great technique that I probably should do more often whenever I add stuff <laughs> or I need the background to be right? darker. Like, oh, I need a background to be gone, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like there, like how do I do that? I'm just like, oh, there you go, you do that. 
Oh, this is cool. Um, um, it looks like this is from from Bran. Actually, put like a cool like shipwreck um, in chat. Um, and I think let's see. Uh, this Christopher is posted one too. I'm gonna look at that one. Uh, that the one day. We've got 14 minutes until our portfolio reviews too, by the way. So definitely. What's happening in 14 minutes, guys? Uh, we're gonna do a <laughs> review um, of some awesome portfolios. Yeah, I'm um, actually, the snow is like really big. I might just bring it like smaller to there. And then mess away. <laughs> a little bit on the top. And then, um, what was I doing? Ah. I'm gonna have that there. Oh, I know, I know. Go back to my castle. I'm just gonna mark this because I'm having a hard time finding the thing I want to add it right now, so mm -hmm. I need to color code. You're everything. all color coded yeah. and awesome. So I now wish I, I should do that more often. Because <laughs> I'm like losing like what am I looking for, you know? Mm -hmm. um, this is way it get like a little bit too crazy. So I'm actually gonna take a closer look. I should have to send. Um, I think like the castle is like too sharp. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you could also try making it um, slightly darker too. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, blur it slightly and then make it darker. Oh, too dark. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe like, I don't wanna say more saturated, but like still, like a darker still blue bright, tone, right? but yeah. yeah, but like a darker blue tone. And now this is where um, I need to, to kind of pull it away. I'm, meanwhile, I'm looking at all of these cool images. Oh yeah, what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm, I'm just Googling, or not Googling, I'm searching in Adobe Stock um, any of the numbers that come into chat, just in case I see something that you might want to add. Kind of what you were thinking, Jimmy. I think you probably would want, like, if he adds a boat, would maybe want, like, a, the full boat, like, so that uh, he could position it in there, like, it's breaking through the ice, or, like, part of it is still sticking up above the ice. At least that's what I was imagining. Tony throwing some gradient maps. See what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like a darker one. I feel like maybe I should make the background more uh, desaturate. That will probably pop yeah, it Yeah, desaturate better. the yeah. background. Because now then... I don't want to make the castle too blue. Yeah, because if the castle, yeah, if the castle is like has like a soft, you know, um, saturated yeah. feel to it, and then that um, the frozen lake up at the front is like really yeah. dark and saturated mm -hmm. is awesome, and then maybe that lack of saturation in the back will pull the castle out a little bit more. So I'm gonna throw in this right here, see if it only affects everything behind it. And then invert it. Time to paint. Cool beans. Mm, cool beans. <laughs> hey David, welcome in. It's good to see you again. Minutes. I can't wait. What's gonna happen in 10 minutes, guys? No, it's too satur desaturated. <laughs> sometimes it's at this point, it's like, maybe I don't want castle no more, guys. <laughs> hey, sometimes you sometimes you have to scrap an idea, yeah. you know? You you try to make it work and it doesn't it doesn't quite do it. Maybe we try a boat. Um, instead do of doing a... Uh, uh, sure. This one might actually be cool. Yeah, you get a smaller castle, guys. <laughs> smaller castle. Well, I want to get no big castle no more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Smoke castle, we'll done. Let's see, we can, I can maybe um, do some brainstorming for adding like a like, new focal top, point. Top, top castle. Right up there? Know, That'd right be like where there. I would put my castle. I know, right? Then you, then you, then you have this whole open space right here. Um, yeah, the invert shortcut, I believe, is Command or Control I, depending on whether you're on PC or um, a uh, Mac. Make it 
Bigger. Bigger is always better. <laughs> mm. Honestly, if you if you made it maybe darker, um, mm -hmm. or made the background, yeah, make make the castle slightly darker, but made the um, background a little lighter, it could work really yeah. large like that. Let's see. Then I'm gonna do that. Should I like the tag team? You know, I'll be like high five tag, and yep. then like this screen switch that as I take over Make Val. Me do it. Help me doing this. Um, um, I think if I think if it were me, I might go into the. That's kind of cool. I like brought at least the like the base of it. I brought the base oh. of that out really. Yeah, and then. Um, I wonder if my is it brushing. So I went everything on the right side looks the same. I was like, is it, mm -hmm. is it brushing or is it not? And then know. maybe some, like we, you talked about um, doing like some atmospheric like fog and stuff right, right behind yeah. it. That could work. And still need to go back to fix the uh, darkness on here. We're always there, guys. <laughs> We're doing this together. The dream. Support the dream, guys. <laughs> They're 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 making castle puns and castle jokes. Yeah. What if the castle was part of the mountain? <laughs> that could be it. interesting. All right. So I might turn that. Can't tell if this snow is distracting or not, but let me make it smaller. Nope. Let me turn that off. And let's see if I can find. Something else, or I mean, you also have that other image that you were saving too. We could kind of noodle with that just a little bit. That's looking right. pretty good, though. I feel like something's still missing. Like mm. there's a castle, but now what? You know. Maybe um, adding something with a warm sort of focal point, like a good orange. I know, right? Orange yeah. would be cool. I feel like ooh, orange ooh, and blue. Ooh. Find me an ice skater that's wearing like an orange or red ooh, dress. Ooh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we could do that. That I can just blur the whole <laughs> thing on the yeah. background, so you're not like look, looking at it anymore. Just like, oh, there's something back there, but I don't know what is it. I do want to blur the castle more. Let's see. Let's do two. So this is the point where I merge my face into the screen, just trying to mm -hmm. see every detail on there. Like, how can I make this better? It might be interesting actually to add like, um, I don't know. Do they have? Do they have like orange? Um, Sunset or orange dawns, like where it's like super super snowy. I don't know. I don't it think could so. Be, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. It's our imagination. We can do whatever we want. We, you could. You could add some some ah, orange clouds, some warm tones down. in the sky. Okay. So the highlight was taking it weird. Bring it lower, and then reduce that. Like that. Ooh, while they're singing in the chat. Um, yeah, I know, right? The lady skater. Could be fun to add Flying a lady skater. Flying bird full of snow in the sky. Ooh. Ooh, fun. a bird. Bird, 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 bird. Could be bird. cool. <laughs> bird is the word. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, we've got about five minutes left until we, the uh, portfolio submission deadline. So if you have not submitted your portfolio yet and you wanted to submit it for this section, uh, definitely get that in pretty soon. Yay. Oh, let's see. Christopher has put a number in. We can oh, check I that. know what I'm missing. To Did it other hit you just now? Haze in the front. Ooh. <laughs> More haze. When in Dove, haze it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. how the snow sound is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just cover the whole thing. So guys, this is what happened. You know, snow is coming and then we're losing everything in the full <laughs> <laughs> How do you get Horse away carriage. when you're editing? Oh, like a fantasy carriage, Brian? Like kind of like a, um, like a Narnia-esque carriage. That could be interesting. Let's see. Did you say Narnia what? Yeah, Narnia-esque. Oh. Oh, I okay. I didn't hear the K. <laughs> How's that? No, no. Come again? <laughs> Let's see. I think it's because. 
Let's do that. Bring it down a little bit. And with that, need this a little bit. Just a little bit. You could also do, um, uh, like still do a castle and make it like a like a dark castle. I guess like like a like a Val castle, a Sith castle, like a big like a dark fortress mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like nah, nah, nah. That have to that then it has to have like a completely different uh, what do you call that um, a sing you know. Mm -hmm. I looked for carriages, but I don't know if I can find a good carriage idea for you either. I'm trying to see, oh, I can just see that screen to see if it works. Yeah, you can, can like, glance up where's, here. Where's my castle? I still am having a hard time finding my castle sometimes. If I bring that down to that. Dark fortress, I would never leave. Same, same, Brienne. <laughs> Is that too dark? Who turned the lights off? <laughs> a gate or a wall could be cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go on here and give me a ice skaters. Oh no, I missed the R. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like search for like um, red or like a certain color of people like ice skating? I think you can. If you do view filters on the side there, I think you should be able to, yeah, choose a color. So up at the very top, if you scroll up, oh, yeah. I was like, um, it says view filters and then scroll down um, and there should be a color section. You can actually type in like a specific color you want or you can just um, ah. select. Red. Yeah. Oh wait, that's just no. So then you can okay. get like all kinds of, of stuff. Okay, that is not what I was looking I for. I think you can also <laughs> say um, include people. Um, and then I think you can, like you can really um, get it going. You can say hide editorial stuff, whatever you're looking for. <laughs> um, include people. Well, no, red then. Oh, I think it's red, it's, it's like the background red. It's mm -hmm. not like showing. Uh, or you could just type in like ice skater red. Yeah, um, let me, oh yeah, see, there you go. Now we have some cool one up on here. There you go. So, ice skater, you guys help me out. Where do I find like a cool red person? It would be cool if that perspective just like skating to that direction. That would be really, Oh yeah, really that cool. would be awesome. Maybe find I can find one. something like help that. Help me, uh, voodoo <laughs> army, a voodoo doll. <laughs> I'm joining the voodoo doll. <laughs> Sign me up. This one, she's like skating away right here. I don't know if you like this pose though, but she's like running. Ooh, will the perspective match? I don't know. It could. So close. That was so close. I know. Um. Yeah, yeah. Send me that one. What, right. what number is it? This We're is. We gotta try uh, it real quick. Two, three, six, four. Um, Christopher is posting one as well that I will Ooh, type in. What did he type? Um, uh, let's see, the one right there, 141. One. He posted that one. How is he so fast? Five. I know, you one, guys are four, one, much quicker than seven, us. 7, 5, 1, 8, 2, 3. Mm -hmm. And then I'll try Matt's. Drum roll. Whoa. <laughs> That's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> much too cold. <laughs> much too cold. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see if Adobe Sensei can help me on this. <laughs> and cut it out. Sorta, sorta. All right, we've got just 14 seconds. I'm gonna look in here. Uh, I'm just gonna go like a quick, roughly uh, mask on this. Cause okay. It's probably not gonna be able to be perfect, but we can see how it feels like. Right? And we have just hit our portfolio submission deadline. So thank you everyone who submitted those portfolios. I am going to jump over and take a look here pretty soon. But um, if you guys do not have your portfolio um, chosen this segment, um, we still have one more segment coming up after this. Um, so you guys can submit <laughs> again um, later on. Oh, the perspective doesn't really match. No. <laughs> 
Well, maybe maybe it would be better if we kind of like what we turn what we talked about yesterday, where sometimes step away yeah. and come back with a fresh pair of eyes. We'll take a break right. for now and jump into the portfolios. But Whee. first, uh, <laughs> we are gonna go to space. Are we going to space? Yeah, we are going to space. Oh yeah, I have. We are gonna go to space. space. <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. Guys. Sorry, my head we is too big, space. it won't fit in the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so just green screen my face here. It's it's okay because uh, the, air, <laughs> the air is breathable up yeah, here. Yeah, my nose. So you can, you, it, there is oxygen. He's, he's the, yeah. You'll be okay. Well, anyway, we're all right, so we, we just hold it, right? It's like, moonwalk, hi, bye. Yeah, anti-gravity. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so our first um, uh, portfolio that we are going to go over real quick um, is uh, I manipulate, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for this one. This is pretty. This is pretty neat. I, you can actually um, kind of look on my screen mm -hmm. a little bit too. Um, but we're going to go through here, and we can kind of talk about um, this person's work um, and maybe offer some advice. Um, I really like um, off the bat that. Um, they have uh, their teams listed um, that they're included in, um, and oh, there's like so a cool. yeah, like a cool about me page. So if I want to know um, who you are as a person, um, I can come in and uh, and and look at them and see mm -hmm. what they do, um, which is really cool. And they've been featured in a lot of stuff. So it's a very very impressive, that is um, so dope. yeah, kind of kind of portfolio here. Do you see um, any that <clears throat> you would like? to jump into first? Ooh, I really like that, that, and that, and what is that? But I don't know, that. but it's cool. I, I, yeah, I let's like do the first one. Or that, or, mm, yeah, that. <laughs> this is neat. Midnight I like jellyfish. And Coldplay. Oh, wow. She's like curled up in like the Oh, she's in like space. holding the pose. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I love like the smoke coming up and, and all the, the jellyfish. jellyfish. Oh, that is so I cool. I think that one's really cool. This is awesome. And there's like extra space around it. Yeah, this is really nice. It's like a nice like intro, like uh, even just how the project is set up. The background is great. It sounds like a bubble. Yeah. Like the, the highlight of that, right? It looks like a bubble. I think so, yeah. yeah. It has like that nice um, circle in the back. The composition is wonderful. Always a kid, I always think about that. I'm mm -hmm. in the space and create like my own bubble. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also really like um, that there's like a brief explanation here, mm -hmm. um, you know, talking about the song and talking about the group, you know, um, uh, the Coldplay group. Yeah, I like um, the, the gold in this space, like the orange colors is really pop out the, um, the font. Yeah, yeah it, it makes really it look cool. really nice, yeah. yeah. I love the, like the, the um, just this shape is just very pleasing. It works really well for this composition. Um, and yeah, this is this is nice. It's set up. It's it's very Thumbs brief, um, but yeah. I like the way that the project is organized, even, um, which is really cool. Um, and then let's. You said you wanted to uh, take a look at this one too. I think. Uh yeah. Wow. I know, right? That's rad. That, that caught my eyes because the uh, the color contrast. The, the red, the black yeah. and red. It's just like one of my favorite thing. Definitely. I even love this, like this is set up really great. The the touch of the fact mm -hmm. that this link is linked is red. red, you know? Like you like red. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> All those Sith colors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, maybe some advice that I can offer, but I just, I think that it's just really, really well yeah, done. Yeah, I'm honestly. just more curious as like, oh, what else they have? Like, yeah. I want to take a look. I like that this one has like a more, um, uh, sort of mock-ups and like close-ups yeah. and stuff of the work. Oh, this is nice. See, nice, I maybe yeah. would have liked to see this in the other one because then we can see like mm. the image versus, you know, kind of what you created with that. That is a really um, exciting thing to see yeah. in a project like this. It's so fun like to this. see like how much like people can oh, change wow. from the uh, beginning to the end. Oh wow, and there's just, even like, a, a, a video. Um, is it a music? It. Or? I think it might be music. They, if I uh, play it, they won't be able to hear it though. So, um, but this is this is really cool. 
thumbs up. Yeah, wonderful um, project, fantastic work, um, and it's it's uh, presented very well. Um, it got the lyrics in there, very, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that I can pick out something that I think needs to be improved on that one. Um, is there another one maybe that you would like to go Luke? through? Yeah. They're yeah, also cool. So, yeah. I'm just more curious about everything. Just open the new tab. Uh, just click, click it. it. Yeah. Oh, this or that. You choose that or that. Let's do the silence yeah. one. I like oh, that. That's so cool too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh, that is so cool. So rad. Um, okay, this is neat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of details on there. Yeah, I like though that like the like the font is really cool because mm -hmm. it's elegant and also kind of gritty like the work so far. Yeah. Um, and it looks really nice in this darker area down here. Very cool. Oh, this is neat. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. Whoa. Very oh, cool. Oh, this is the cool part. Oh, nice. That is so cool. Uh, again, I think that everything is like presented so yeah. wonderfully. I do, uh, one thing I, I'm actually curious about, mm -hmm. um, like just wondering because everything is like layered it mm -hmm. up. But like, why was it like purposely made to like fade it around here? Mm -hmm. No, but I'm just curious. Like, the uh, what was the reasoning take for that? Um, like why like, he decided yeah, to, to kind of fade it, it into instead of like overlay or like merging to the skin as mm -hmm. faded. I'm um, just curious about that take. Um, like, because for the other two we saw earlier, right? They're mm -hmm. all like blending but still have it on top. So exactly. Like, like, yeah. They're all in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just like curious about like why that one was faded, but it's still really cool. It's almost like a a hit piece or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Into like part of the, the vibe, right? Because like mm -hmm. even on the right side you see right here, that's mm -hmm. like overlay on the top. You can see the detail, but this one's just like fading into it. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty nice. Kind of yeah. drifts off. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, good question. Maybe just was feeling it. Yeah, uh, I love this too. Oh, Another so where cool. you can see the image that um, he used versus what he kind of did with the piece. Yeah, you see like the um, the Wayne like retouch a little bit and adding the highlights on the skin and the shadow. Mm -hmm. Just changing it to a, a different tone. Nice. And then I like the hair color. It's already like that color. And mm -hmm. to use the uh, the red and it's like tail blue-ish. Really For sure. Cool. Nice. Yeah, and I think, is there a little bit? Oh, I love, okay, so that's really nice having this. Thanks for watching. This like, um, because it matches the top. So it has like this really nice sort of like um, motif going on, this this uh, aesthetic going on with the, mm -hmm. the darkness and the nature and the footer matches um, the header. And then all of the project stuff um, in between um, kind of follows that. So very yeah. nice. Yeah. I need to go work on my behinds to make it look like pretty like that. That's, yeah, really, <laughs> really like, cool. Ooh, a lot of inspiration. Um, yeah, very inspiring. I, I agree, um, Joel, this is really cool. Um, and then you said that you also maybe wanted to see that one. I think this one looks pretty cool too, this revolution. I yeah, don't, I don't know like what it is from the thumbnail, but um, maybe we'll find out. Um, the artwork, revolution. Oh, wow. That's like a like a face mask mm -hmm. or something. This is like a person here. Um, uh, photo manipulation design, conscious mind and unconscious revolution between fantasy and reality. Nice. Very, very cool. Right on my alley, I like what I love. <laughs> yeah, I like I like this. Again, um, mm -hmm. I like to see those. Uh, even like oh, the okay. image itself Oh, okay, I do see like cool. this actually the mouth on the bottom part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I mean, if you didn't notice it before, maybe it's slightly dark. Yeah, it's like really you know? dark. On that I, uh, one? I was just distracted. By the the cool lights mm -hmm. on the thing that um, the person was wearing. Yeah, the the face. So mask I was trying to there. figure it out what is it mm -hmm. going on. Gotcha. Well, because maybe the screen is like far away. <laughs> that glowy dots on that. Yeah. What is it? Um, I think maybe like that's a that's a good point then because yeah. I also like for this one specifically. I think if you look at all of the thumbnails yeah, in your clear project. Yeah, there's a thumbnail, but that one's just like a little yeah. bit more abstract. I so really maybe see this that. one. I I would say, would you running out a little like, bit, right? Yeah, because everything it else out. is really cool. Um, unless, like, maybe that's if you still want to focus on the guy, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But just running out a little bit so, like, people can kind of like 
um, see it. Because like, you don't have to actually see the whole thing. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes your brain will just help you Fill to patch in, that yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. So even just a little bit of information, uh, you can still keep abstract, but that will give you, like, everything. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a face, you know, right there. Very nice. Very Cause, nice. Because if I didn't see the uh, original photo, I mm-hmm. didn't you make, I didn't know. It was, it was really dark for yeah. me. But I noticed it, like, yeah. sort of, um, like, as an afterthought. I was like, oh, that is, like, a like a yeah, job. Because so. I thought it was, like, a whole mask, right? Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's actually a whole mask. But, that but was, like, still, so cool. I mean, beautiful project. Project, but I would say maybe work on the um, readability there mm-hmm. and maybe get uh, a thumbnail for that project that's a little more, a um, little crispier, if yeah. that makes sense. A little yeah, crisp, yeah, yeah. Crispier. crispier thumbnail um, that gets the point across. But yeah, the color is um, really nice. Um, and then you yeah, really like thing. this one. I love this already, and it's I can only see like the top of it. Because this part right here, yeah, oh. this is like a double exposure waterfall, mer- uh, waterfall merged into the mm-hmm. face and coming down. I the love red, that the orange, yeah, ready. this is oh, really cool. And then you see so them on top beautiful. of the mountain. So much inspiration here. Oh, is it so beautiful. Zen? Yeah. What, is that part of the lake? Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, they, they cut it and off the to birds, like a little tree. It's yeah. like such a nice touch. I really like, so even just from the top, you're like, okay, something's coming down. And you see the face, and then there's the tree fading away with that. And then the color popping with the mm-hmm. red coming down from the top. And the red here, and then the, the orange and the red. Yeah, and then very that like nice. he's actually with part of it, and then the bottom part sitting on there with the bird for the scales. That yeah. is very I nice. Love too I like it that it doesn't just stop at him like sitting here. He he added this extra depth here mm-hmm. so that there's even more of that landscape coming towards yeah. us. Yeah, and it's the whole thing's in connect because like the water come down and mm-hmm. then you know to the fog kind of go and everything like the color. Very like, nice. Like he's in the dark, but you don't lose those details as we mentioned earlier, right? If you have those like tiny detail uh, highlights and things, just kind mm-hmm. of your brain will patch the shape for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, yes. Yeah, so that this one is really nice. Very, very I'll share nice. share that on my Instagram story. Just be like, inspiration of Look the day. Look at this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes. I'll, I'll go online and collect like some cool inspiration mm-hmm. and post on my story so people can watch it. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, oh yeah, some cool inspiration of like portrait, uh, letterings or any kind of art that's like inspiring for people. Yeah. Just like want to take a look, just enjoy it. I think the only thing about this that I, I, I think is like lacking mm-hmm. is in all of the other projects we got to see more of like more images, mm-hmm. more close-ups. Um, and we got to see like the original image versus the yeah. other one, which I suppose is not is not 100% needed because it's a very powerful image. But I would have liked to see it since you did that in your other ones. I was kind of expecting to get to scroll down and no, and that see all so that stuff. Cool. But I mean, the the piece is beautiful. Like this is something I would hang on my wall. You know, this I is would. wonderful. I would. Yeah, you I love it. I'm, I'm it's a good one. <laughs> very well done. That is um, so cool. But let's actually uh, head over to our yeah. other portfolio. Well, one cool thing. Like this, this waterfall right here mm-hmm. also gave me the feeling of the uh, the brush, you know, the Chinese yeah, Chinese exactly. drawing paintings, or like that brush stroke going down mm-hmm. straight and turning to the waterfall with like that um, particular like, it's black got, like, and an white. Energy so it's to like it. very like uh, the East Asia kind of vibe with mm-hmm. that, and then you know that like, you can even add stuff on the background or not, but just keep it seeing like that Zen moment. Very cool, yeah. Very nice. Wonderful. Well that done. So cool. Uh, yeah. That is I manipulate. Um, you definitely if you do. Guys, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> for sure. Um, definitely check out his work, guys, um, on Behance uh, for yourselves if you want to look at some of his other um, projects uh, more closely. But right now, we are going to switch over to uh, Novens, um, who has got some really fantastic colors. This is totally like my vibe, too, with like the dark black oh, and yeah, purple. Oh, yeah, Novens. How are you doing? Are you watching like, right now? Oh. <laughs> I was saying hi. Do you know Novens? <laughs> yeah, well, I, th- I think I, I follow him on Instagram. We follow oh, each cool, other. Cool. So, yeah, yeah. So I like his work already. Very neat. Yeah, yeah this has got really, like a really cool thing on there. Like a vapor wave kind of vibe for some of these two. Yes, um, yes, yes. But I think again, like a uh, very nice um, setup uh, for the um, for the project here. We got like. Um, the about me, um, so we know um, like your name, where you're born, you know a little bit of uh, of information about your your past, um, and then it says hire me, and then your email, which is really great. So if somebody really loves what you do, um, they can get a hold of you very easily. Mm-hmm. Um, I also love here he's got a section of web references. 
um, of where uh, uh, all he's been featured and everything. So instead of just making a list of the things that you like that you've done or like the notable events that you have participated in, um, I can actually click on them and That's go really and cool. see, yeah. which is really great. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, one thing I know is that uh, when clients are looking to hire you, they mm -hmm. want to see that like, what else you have uh, done before, mm -hmm. uh, what you've any achieved, brands, and yeah, what you achieved, mm -hmm. you know. Um, they just want to see like the design and then just with the, everything they can see like okay like how can he or she work with our brand you yeah know? so now we have like a list of things that we can click on and then just look at the design it's like help them to understand you more yeah uh, than all the project you're showing definitely um, and do you see like uh, one of the projects here that maybe jumps out you want to jump into real quick that was so cool I know they're all wonderful <laughs> Um, I was looking at the Poetic Universe and the Starman Rebirth and ooh, the Absurdity. Those three were like catching my go eye. Go to Rebirth. Yeah, this that's is one of my favorite things. This is awesome. Tribute to David Bowie. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. Starman Rebirth. Uh, a little after a year now that we've lost David Bowie, but his music uh, will always live on. Being a figure of popular music, uh, we've been always fascinated by songs like Starman, where lyrics like, there is a Starman waiting in the sky, are music to your ears. This is uh -huh. nice. I also love the um, uh, the font and the color, how it's not like white, it's like a really soft pink almost, mm -hmm. that kind of matches. Yeah. Um, and then uh, this is just, Awesome. Oh, I like that RGB split. Yeah. With that 3D vibe filling and uh, going to the future and then the space. Very nice. Those are really cool. Yeah, it looks Almost like, like this a 3D is, uh, rendered. Yeah, it looks like 3D mm -hmm. images. Um, it says it, it has Photoshop lift, uh, listed as mm -hmm. um, what um, he used, but I wonder if um, you've done a little bit of work in Dimension maybe to yeah. add these images in. Um, this is great. I like the the first one and then the third one. The third the, one, yeah. Uh, the silhouette and then the gesture. Like the mm -hmm. first one, like looking up that perspective. Like um, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, like I don't even like use it mm -hmm. um, just because I um, not a lot of like uh, stock photo image have that perspective. Yeah, the perspective. It's very nice to like ship ship it all the time. Yeah, um, the yeah, center with, like, one. Looking up, giving that feeling of like you know mighty yeah, yeah. grateful. Yeah, I really like that. And then the third one is like kicking on the it's side. It's very yeah. yeah. It's very like action. I kind of I kind of like the center one too though because it's about like rebirth and this is almost yeah, like an adult in like mm -hmm. the, the fetal pose like that you would see in like a um, like an ultrasound or something so it's like he's being reborn well the cool almost. thing about the second one is like the uh, the line direction of line in there yeah, and yeah. that uh, death of fail in the back of that corner to the front that's like really cool it's Definitely. Just the third one is more uh, more like going far but this mm -hmm. one's like the, uh, dramatic line. It was yeah, it's like really it's nice. like a it has all the line going into point on the back of it. Yeah, and even has like Starman rises, Starman rebirth, yeah. and Starman uh, the the brave. Which yeah, is this like a show film? Yeah. Like, can we watch it? Yeah, like... that's what I'm saying. It's like I kind of want to be. Yeah, yeah here's oh, like a more close detail. up. That's yeah, so cool. Very nice. Very, So very if this cool. is actually all done in uh, Photoshop, then that's really cool. So that's you're probably rad. like painting with a lot of different brushes. You yeah, know, I would like to learn about it. Uh, with that, yeah. This is great. This is wonderful work. So that's a lot of like yeah. joy and painting. There is a star that, man. With the highlight detail. Oh yeah, very nice. Um, I think I think if I could offer any advice for um, the the portfolio, like I think this is great. Like all of this is together in one mm -hmm. thing. I would say that you have these um, here with like the. Um, the caption and, and the information on these. Um, and then you also have them all just before that without the captions. I would say choose either or. So then mm. I'm, cause I kind of like at that point in the project felt like you I was maybe, the, yeah. yeah, like I was seeing repeated content. Um, uh, I would just like to see maybe the large versions here um, with the with the captions or without just one set of them, yeah. and then go down into this one at the end. Because yeah, they're already so like three uh, yeah. side by side. Yeah, because it's the same thing. It's just you one don't want to cover your signature. beautiful R with the font too. You know. Yeah. Want to see everything on there. Got to see everything. Um, but very hey, well done. Hey, no one's That's on awesome. there. He's there. Yes, yes. Hello, no Hello one's. There. Beautiful Never work. Never really see you. I mean, I saw you uh, live before Instagram, but. 
Hello there. <laughs> and then do you have one that you, another one that you want to jump into? Uh, I know this one. Uh, I saw this one and this one on his uh, Instagram before. So mm -hmm. this one is really cool. It has a lot of like crazy details in there. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I really like that Spaceman one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember the Spaceman and the headphone yeah. I was showing you yesterday? Yeah. Um, so what do you think? Do you want to go headphones? I would like man, to or? do the Spaceman one because that one was super impressive. And I okay. know that everyone yeah, would take like a to look see of it. this one. Check this out. So this is like, oh, this like a whole bunch of it. tons of cons. Oh man! We hit the jet pod. This one. It, uh, can I click yeah. on these? Oh no! It just uh, like yeah. blows them all up. Oh, here. that one too. That one yeah. was really crazy. I saw this he, like, how he built it. Beautiful. This is insane. <laughs> I need to step on like insane game, details. Guys. <laughs> Brb! I gotta go work. <laughs> I need so to be this better. is like a collection of like commission work. Yeah. Um, I didn't even visual know that. art concepts um, you made for album covers, posters, and mm -hmm. other concepts you're moving uh, or you're working on the last three months. Um, and then I like here, so we have like a little preview so you know what you're gonna get into in the project, and then it looks like we go into um, uh, like the title for each one. So this one's called Abandoned, and we get to see it. It kind of yeah. reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender oh, a yeah, little bit. Back. You know, like, I mean, Aang has like the arrow, but this one is still. Yeah. The um, shadow really looks cool. like a little bit dark for me compared mm -hmm. to this right here. Compared to those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the shadow, mm -hmm. that, but the frown and everything was like really busy and cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, this is really cool. Yeah. Very Sith-like. I'm into it. I have the high I ground. like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't try it, Anakin. Underestimate <laughs> 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 my power. <laughs> um, this one's really cool with like the like one, this guy's yeah. like taken off. Um, and this one is really nice. Very talk. nice. Yeah, but the shadow. What do you think about the shadow compared like two of it? Do you think it's a little bit harsh, or is that good? Or like... It might be cool just because we we know like mm -hmm. you know you might get some bounce light on the back mm -hmm. of him yeah. from all of this stuff. So maybe I would make it a little lighter, but it still works. You know, because yeah, it it's got like harsh really cool. colors. The or highlight very, on the window you know, is really nice. Yeah. That, the, that, that, that smear of light. Because if you actually have a camera, you point at um, light source, it happens mm -hmm. on your lens, so it's really cool. This is the one that, like, I... Yeah. I showed it yesterday. I was like, oh, hey, check this out, you It's know? so good, and it's so... It, it has, like, such an emotion to it. You know what yeah. it reminds me of? If you guys have ever seen that film, Arrival. Arrival. Because the posters or, uh, for that movie... What's the other one that... Uh, inter... inter no. What uh, Interstellar? Yeah. Yeah, because the, yeah. the posters for both of those films, it has yeah, like that, that wide vibe. open space with the soft sky mm -hmm. and then like the pillars, you know, and really all that nice, stuff. Yeah. Very, like very nice. Like you're looking to yourself, could be like, mm -hmm. you found a different world, because I, but you're a different color, right? Like, Definitely. What's the meaning behind it? I really like that one. Um, yeah, this one is, they're all, they're all really great. The, the uses of color is really awesome. Know, right? Um there's a lot of things that's wow. like great to look at bigger screen, you know. Yeah. It's like sometimes I'm a little bit about like all the social media because like mm -hmm. it's so small on your screen. When you blow it out to look at it, you get to appreciate every detail on it. It was like, oh, this is so nice. This like, one I, I would hang on my wall. You I would, would? I would, yeah. Because I like, this is like color? very like, <laughs> the color and it's very like 80s, like, like vapor wave, yeah. retro wave kind of stuff, you know, like. Very, very cool. Now you guys um, know she was shoot by the prints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Perspective that is really So we're nice. gonna get through these and then we only have a few minutes um, oh, left really here cool. um, before we have to say goodbye. Um, so if you guys wanna check out some more of um, Novin's uh, work, um, definitely check out his Behance. You guys can go through his um, his projects yourself. I, I love these mock-ups for the, know, the right? records down here. Um, this is really great. Um, but before we sign off, I would love to uh, maybe have you tell everyone where they can find you uh, on, the, on the net, you know? Uh, yeah, Your, so uh, you can find me on Instagram with uh, EYE.C. Um, mm -hmm. That's my uh, mainly uh, where I post all the new ideas and concepts on there where mm -hmm. I talk with the uh, audience and the community so I respond to every comment and a DM mm -hmm. um, that's like my main uh, page for my website mm -hmm. and there's also like you type on a uh, taste a little dream on like Twitter or uh, Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, what else yeah so you can find me this must be like a video it's not showing this is like weird <laughs> what if it's got pulled off on uh, what's that? Well, but it still looks really clean though. Yeah, so, so like nice. you can find like um, some of my work on here and mm -hmm. then there's like motion design portion and clients and about me. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to write me an email, you can just click on that, you know, so like 
um, contact. So like I would like respond in like two to three days because mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like traveling. But Just yeah, some advice yeah, mainly I put on uh, Instagram. Yeah, so if you guys have right any up. questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, you can also find me on Behance, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to start build more on there. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, um, it has been a fantastic week. I'm sad that it's the last day, but it's been such a blast. We'll um, be back. <laughs> yeah. So so we are gonna sign off here pretty soon, but Thank you uh, there is still yeah. one more segment um, left for this week. So definitely stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Um, Paul and Alexandria are coming yeah. up for another uh, Thank day Thank you guys of so much. Yep. It was such a great experience yeah, just to be wonderful. out here. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful it's, meeting yeah. you as well. I know. It's been a good, been know, a good we'll, week. We'll battle right. in our right. lightsaber. <laughs> yep, yep. All right. Bye, everyone. So fun. Bye. See you next time.